That was my battle cry. Battle cry. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> Shouldn't have shot that gas can. Alrighty. That takes care of that. Now we're gonna probably run into a couple splicers on the way to our next destination because they're spawning in our path as would be expected. I'm kind of tempted to take a big daddy with me just for lols. Why not? Come on, big daddy. We're going to the core. You and me. You and me together. Best of friends forever. Stop it, right from taking over the world, killing everybody, shitting his pants. This is the song for traveling with the Big Daddy. Now, I could piss off that Big Daddy and make the two Big Daddies fight each other, but you can watch a video about that on YouTube somewhere else. Looks like the ocean's got an itch to retake this corner of Rapture. This time we're right off the start of the war. Read about it in the papers. Alright. Head on in. You ready, Big Daddy? That's what we're going to do. We have some proximity mines, and we have a big daddy, for crying out loud. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do that, do that, do that, and do that. And I'm going to re-attack him. And... Will these creatures kill you? Even I don't. As you drag me closer to the dig 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 Ow. Yep, as I thought. That's gonna flood central control. And we are going to call this elevator. <laughs> Big Daddy's not a fan of the turret. Are they all dead? See ya, broski. Insert crazy gadget music. All right. No more Big Daddy to help us out, but that's fine. We really don't need him. Um, he, he was just along for the ride anyway. I wanted to make a show. Uh, loot! every Dude, my wallet is full. I did not realize that. My wallet is actually completely full right now. I will take care of that in a little bit. So far away from your family, from your friends, from everything you ever loved. Feel something you can't quite put your finger on. Think about it for a second, and maybe the word will come to you. Nostalgia. Core lift control going up. What did Atlas offer you? A piece of my plundered city? Mark my words, your only reward will be a knife in the back. Bada bing! That is going to set off the EMP bomb, which is going to stop this machine from working. And effectively, we'll kill Rapture. Um, or the power, anyway, for the most part. In DD Duty, that is exactly what we're going to do. There's going to be a lot of splicers between here and there to stop us. A lot of really pissed off robot machines, too. Auto hack. Oh. Let me 
can go ahead and kill him with well-placed electric thing. Honestly, I probably should have taken shortened alarms, because that would have made this part a lot easier. I kind of forgot about it, but that's my fault. Let's go ahead and buy out. I have infinite money right now. Um, I really need to make it to a vending machine. Can I... Right. That, no, that ends the alarms. Alright, I'm good. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to run to a vending machine. Out of health. Not good. Not good. Whack. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go to a vending machine. <laughs> Before I get any more crazy. Uh, there shouldn't be any of these back here because the game doesn't expect you to go this way. Uh, that's a little bit... That's a little bit cheap of me, but screw it. Um, let's hack it. Oh, wow, that's a big buyout. I don't even want to do it. Hypo, 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 hypo. Eight kit, eight kit, eight kit, eight kit. Film. Buckshot. Buckshot. All of the money is gone. And I, as a result, have an stuff. Stuff. I'm good to go. Alright, now that that moment of weakness is over, we are clear for going straight to Andrew Ryan. But first, I'm going to go ahead and pick up these two things that I said I was going to grab earlier. Some trap bolts. Um... Let's see, RPGs. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, mm that should be about it. So let's head to his room. Everything up here is a freaking mess. Throw the circuit breaker, and that door should be gone. I think it's gone. Yes, it is. In the end, all that matters to me. All that matters to you, it, it, it is you. It is the nature of things. Welcome to Rapture Central Control. This is where Andrew Ryan's office actually is. Um, I must warn you before going in here, this part contains massive spoilers. If you are planning on playing this game at any point in time, or whatever, really, I would recommend not watching this part. Turn off the video now. Um, because this will actually spoil a fairly large thing in the game. And that's not good for you. So, keep that in mind. Does your master hear me? Atlas? You can kill me, but you will never have my city! My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to live and a time to die. A time to build and a time to destroy! So Andrew Ryan is officially going crazy at this point. He is going to nuke the entire city. Let's go around through the upstairs really quick. Break this open. Here we go. Some Eve 
Ibo. Mind control test. These uh, these audio diaries are fairly important. I'm going to play that one at a time. Blah 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 blah. I'm gonna go ahead and burn that. Eh. Might as well get on full on both charges before you run in here. The assassin has overcome my final defense. And now he's come to murder me. In the end. What separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. You think you have memories. A farm. A family. An airplane. A crash. And then this place. Was there really a family? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man. Something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill? Or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Come in. Stop, would you kindly? Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Familiar phrase. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Sit. Would you kindly? Stand. Would you kindly? Run. Stop. Turn. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Quite the emotional experience if you have never played this game before. Um, 
We'll talk about this a little bit later. Right now we have to go arm the override control to make sure this place doesn't blow up. Let's do a little bit of sacking first because in a minute we won't get a chance to do so. I wish you could grab these golf balls and take them with you really quick, but you can't. So, uh, here's the computer. We're gonna just plug this in. With that done, hello little girl. Watch out, mister! You're gonna leave me out of here. Thank you. Alright, let's leave. Excuse me, coming through. All of the turrets in the office are now on. We're gonna just duck in here really quick! Oh my god! Run away! Oh, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so we're going to end up going to Mercury Suites next, after all of the mess that's occurred in the last few minutes. Um, we have stumbled into the Little Sisters Orphanage, which is Tenenbaum's little hideout, where she takes care of all the little girls that you've been sending her way. And this area of the game is very, very morbid if you failed to rescue a lot of the Little Sisters, or you managed to harvest a lot of them. But thankfully I haven't. I've done a pretty good job of keeping track of everything, so everything's pretty much fine and dandy. Um, again, there was some copyrighted music playing in the background during this scene, so I had to cut it out. And um, another part of Fontaine's dialogue, which is sad, but there you go. Um, so what's going to end up happening is I've got to go to... Uh, Su Chong's apartment to try to get the cure for my mental conditioning. So thank you, little girl, for opening the way for me. And we're gonna head out, and that's gonna be our next visiting stop. And Frank Fontaine, 
still has us on the little recorder device because we still have it. And I find a cat. Meow. Um, I wish I could do his voice. I guess I could try to do his voice really quick. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Would you kindly go get stepped on by a big daddy? And suddenly he's a little confused as to why it's not working. Of course, that's because Tenenbaum uh, undid a little bit of our conditioning, so we don't have to worry about complete and total control. Um, the three words are disabled for the most part, pretty much. And we're going to grab this gate crank really quick from this dead body, and we're going to plug it in on this little hole over here, and that's going to be about where we stop the video for now. Sadly, uh, Fontaine has decided to invoke Code Yellow on us, which means the next part of the game is on a little bit of a timer. Um, if you dawdle too much, your health will keep dwindling downward and downward, so you kind of have to wrap things up in this next part of the game. But we'll continue with that next time, and I will remember to turn the music off to satisfy the copyright ninjas. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Rick Plays Bioshock.